Do you have a Kisumba story? It seems like everyone in the scene came here in different and interesting ways. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about my story and how I turned from a club kid to a social dancer and how Kisumba saved my life. Welcome to Move Em Life. Hey everyone and welcome back to Move Em Live. If you're new here, I am Morten Einer, I am your host and I'm the founder of Move Em. I'm an urban kiss teacher from Sweden and I am normally traveling the world to explore the perfect dance and find interesting people to learn from. Today we are in my home studio and I wanted to take you through my story. My story actually started when I was 18. So I had this friend who was really good at dancing. He owed me. So I had him teach me a couple of dancing steps. I remember we were in front of the mirror and, you know, um, uh, he taught me and slowly I uh, learned how to move in a new way. And with that, I could go to a dance floor and make myself seen and make myself heard. So when my friends were hanging at the bar, I hit the dance floor. When I was 19, I started my first company. So by that time, I kind of was stuck in front of my computer working. Through the years, I became a little bit more sophisticated. This was back in the, the 90s when Eurodisco was the big thing. And so I am evolved, you might say, into house and trance and techno and ended up in big parties in Holland and all over the world. Fast forward a bit and uh, to, to 2014 uh, when I was married and me together with my ex-wife, we decided to go our separate ways. So as new single, I wanted to, you know, figure out what to do. And a friend brought me to this fox and bug scene. This is the classic like social dance in Sweden. I found some interest in fox and I think that it was kind of nice to do. So I started to do that. And I was doing that for maybe half a year. And in the summer of 2015, I was at this big gathering in the island of Erland, where I also happened to have my summer house. I remember they had a Kisumba workshop. It was really, really hot inside that little cabin, basically. This was um, Tony and Kimberly that had this basic course and it was jam packed with people and um, they were showing all of these steps. And by the time that they concluded the demo, I was flabbergasted. This was, I was blown away. This was something that I just had to be good at. So I decided there and then to become a Kisumba dancer. Now, after the summer, I went back to working. And at this time, I was expanding my ambitions at work. And I was working long hours and pushed myself really hard. But I managed to get a few classes and some private sessions into the autumn. And I really, really pushed myself hard at that time. And I didn't realize it at that point, but I was actually taking from myself, from my soul and put it into my work. And by the end of the year, I was uh, so exhausted. So I really needed to get away. And I decided to go around the globe. And I ended up in Bali from running around in 180. I was supposed to go 
down into myself and do yoga and chill out. And everything I've been running from and every, you know, stressful situation that I have uh, pushed down uh, just came tumbling down on me. And I realized how tired I was. And I, you know, really crashed into that, you know, famous wall. And when I came home in February of 2015, 2016, sorry, I came into this spiral of neg negative thinking and uh, I absolutely couldn't work. And I got into this darkness that really, you know, um, was covering me. At that point, I saw really no reason of living. But there was one little spark of light, and that was Kisumba. At this time in Stockholm, Kisumba was in a really expansive phase. So we could pretty much dance Kisumba every night a week. And I went to all dances. I went to all workshops. And there were certain days where I couldn't take myself out of bed. But the only reason I put my feet on the ground and took myself out of the house was to go dancing. As being depressed, there's just nothing you have to say to people. You know, being social and somebody asks you, how are you doing? You just don't need that question. You know, are you going to talk about the bottomless, you know, like pit in your heart? Or are you going to just lie and say that everything is all right? And the couples dancing was really, really nice because I could come to the workshop. I could, you know, end up in the dance and I could do my thing and I didn't really have to talk to anyone and in the social dance I was just a dancer. I didn't have to be anyone, I didn't have to pretend anything, I could just you know express the dance and uh, do that and then go home and it was fine with that. So slowly I started to recover and dancing was really the best therapy you can imagine for me. I became better at dancing quickly because I did it so much, right? And after about a year, I just got this really, really strong feeling that I wanted to share this. So, and I started to, um, to teach. In the beginning, it was very, very simple and very humble. More like I introduced and like wanted to inspire people to find their uh, dance, basically. Um, but after a while, it's expanded and I have started to have workshops in Sweden and also abroad. With the dancing and the teaching, I also got this urge to start traveling. You know, I didn't do that um, you know, backpacking in Asia or something when I was 20 because I had my company, right? I sat there in front of my computer and hammering on the on the keys all night and all day. So um, it felt fantastic to start exploring. And I went around all Europe to try to hunt down the perfect dance. And I got a lot of different perspectives and this changed my way of looking at work in general and I just realized that I don't want to sit at this you know square meter eight hours a day when there's a whole world around me just waiting so basically I turned my business around as a designer and I started to work more remote and and um, um, ended up offering my service exclusively remote so I could go wherever I want in, in the world. And that's something that I do to this day.
my life has just turned so much to the better. And I think if I could choose again, I would not choose to go any other path than the one I have right now. I get to meet so many wonderful, cool people. And just being a dancer, I feel really, really blessed. So what about you? What's your Kisumba story? Maybe you can share it in the comments below. Thank you so much for uh, listening. I am Morten Einer and this is Move em Live. And if you like what you see, you should like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you click that little bell button, you will get a message every time we publish new content. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much and welcome back to Move Em Live.